my Gemini. My Henny ain't Gemini. Yeah. What's up, baby? What's going on in the life of a Gemini in the month of July into August? Today's the first. Ain't no damn July number. What am I talking about? August. What's popping, baby? You understand? What's going on in y'all world? Are y'all loving again? Are y'all going to admit that y'all in love? Y'all behaving? Because y'all sure got soulmates around y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> this will be from the 1st to the 15th of August. For my sun, moon, rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Gemini. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, boo, hey. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. We cuss, we fuss, we don't fight. We don't do none of that shit. We share, we enlighten, we don't judge, we grow, we evolve. We about, we about big ups, baby, okay? So thank you for all the like, shares, the subscribes, the love, the comments, everything. Because I read every single comment. I may not have time to reply to them because Mocha's trying to get her life, okay? Got to get it out the the fucking shamble box, all right? But, um, <laughs> y'all, I'm happy to see y'all. I'm happy to talk to y'all. Um, the energy that I feel from y'all is so loving. Um, Gemini's, you have to make a decision. Don't be afraid of what other people are going to think or say about you in making that decision, okay? All right. I don't like long intros, and I ain't finna cry. I was sensitive. And my Venus is in Gemini. I'm one of y'all. We cousins. Okay. So let's get it. Uh, this is for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, as well as cross watches for the sign of Gemini from the 1st to the 15th of, 15th of August. Let's get it. Y'all plan it on my ass. Okay. Mercury don't fuck with mocha like that. All right. Eminem ain't, ain't seeing eye to eye right now. So if I st 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 stutter, st 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 stay with me, please. Okay. Please. Pretty please, all right, because y'all know what the hell I'm trying to say, all right? So the first message I got from y'all for y'all is going to come from the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards from Doreen Virtue, okay? So the first message is motivate, unconventionality. I hate this word. Your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel and be different from others. Also, during this time between the 1st and 15th, many of you are going to be seeing a lot of butterflies. Butterflies bring new beginnings, coming out of the cocoon to a new. This is the season of the re. Renews, rebirths, reconciliations, reunions, reconnections. All of the re's. Okay? So, allow the, the, this is the season of the re. Allow the re to purge the things that you don't need, the people you don't need, the places that make you uncomfortable. Allow the re to assist you, okay? All right, so, motivate. This card reassures you that your unique qualities are part of your life purpose. It's possible that you've been teased or felt excluded for being different. Perhaps you've been, sorry, perhaps you've tried to change yourself to fit in and be normal yet doing so is betraying to who you are and ignoring the blessing and gifts of your authentic self if it seems that your opinions and thinking style are not the same of those of other people this is a sign of your creative ability you have inventive fresh ideas and talents that the world needs you see things in a new way which will inspire others out of their stagnation seek out other unconventional people so that you won't feel so alone you may encounter like-minded people at clubs, conventions, and other gatherings, focusing upon areas that are aligned with your interests. Like Motivite, you are the uh, I'm sorry, you are the otherworldly yet. Fortunately, there are many others who share your originals. I'm sorry, share your origins and point of view. It's just a matter of going out and finding them. All right, so. Find like-minded people during this time. Be receptive and open to like-minded people. That's not hard for Gemini because naturally, y'all are very strategic people. But for the most part, y'all are very friendly and kind people. Okay? So I will say, during this time, Gemini, a lot of y'all are falling in love with yourself. A lot of y'all masculine and feminine energy have married one another. They're mirroring one another. They're, they've come into union. 
again, that butterfly. I told you a lot of y'all, and this as well, some of y'all will be working on aligning your chakras, and you need to work on aligning your chakras, okay, in order to be receptive of love, okay? Because something is trying to be birthed. Some of y'all might find out that y'all are pregnant during this time between the first and the 15th. Congratulations, okay? But if you're not pregnant and you don't want babies, you better wrap it up because that fertility. That, for, that fertility energy is in the building, okay? Some of y'all may need to get out in nature during this time or may feel the need to get out in nature. Also, I know that that butterfly, right? So while you, those of you who are in nature and you're seeing a lot of butterflies, okay? The divine is trying to communicate with you that you have something new and beautiful coming into your life or something to be birthed into your life that you're really going to be passionate about, okay? You just have to balance yourself. For some of y'all, you need to go into nature to find balance, okay? Ground yourselves. Also, some of y'all have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius like yourself. This could be you. I feel some of y'all, especially if you walked away from somebody, a lot of y'all third eye is booming and blooming. It's popping, honey, okay? But I do see everything. Some of y'all will be receiving downloads while you're in nature as well. But some of you recently, um, during this retrograde at the beginning, I feel, should have received a download regarding love or someone new coming into your life or maybe who you just have to be real with yourself look yourself in the mirror and say to yourself i'm i'm lovable i deserve love i deserve the love that i want not the one that everyone thinks i should have that's for a few of y'all i feel uh some of y'all just falling in love with yourself you're ready to birth the new you're ready to walk into a new uh possibly with an air sign gemini libra aquarius again some of y'all need to align your chakras during this time I feel like for some of y'all, you're trying to carry the burdens, okay? Burdens of others, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign. You carry the burdens of others, and intuitively, you already know, or you're feeling burdened by another. This could also be a fire sign, but you're feeling burdened by someone. And during this time, you're needing to balance your chakras, okay? Align your chakras, meditate more, okay? Ground yourselves, baby. Right, spirit. What do you have? Oh, 21st. Some of y'all, some of y'all are going uh, to be cutting off somebody who you have a child with and going through the justice system. And it will go in your favor between the 1st and the 15th. Some of y'all are going to leave the earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, out in the cold. During this time, during the 1st and the 15th, you're going to be moving away from this person. Um, some of y'all are moving away from another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like both of y'all mutually want to cut this relationship off. Y'all just kind of stand there, I feel, possibly due to finances. Uh, during this time... Some of y'all may have a younger earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. As soon as you leave one, you have a younger one trying to come and offer you a new beginning, okay? Some of y'all are trying to some of y'all are trying to manifest uh moving your relationship to the next level. I feel strongly if you're dealing with an Aries or a water sign, uh Cap Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of y'all are very passionate about a water sign during this time. This person is your soulmate. But some of y'all uh, who are in same-sex relationships, there is a woman, um, your woman, there's also another woman who is a soulmate to you. Um, this woman could be someone who maybe is a caretaker. Maybe this woman is someone who works with children, okay? Or maybe you work with children. There's someone in your in your vicinity, in your aura, in your energy, okay, who's very passionate about you if you're a fire sign. I do see some of y'all are stalking a fire sign, wanting to start over, start afresh with this person. Some of y'all have uh some of y'all have a, a Aries Leo Sagittarius that you're very passionate about, but the communication with this person is just fucked up, okay? And some of y'all gonna cut their ass up with the sword during this first and the fifteenth of August. And because, I ain't going to lie to you, for some of y'all, that's going to balance the scales because I feel like you've been taking a lot of this person's shit. Some of y'all have children with the Libra that put you in a three-party situation, so you're going to leave this person out in the cold um, and just j just strongly work on finances. But some of y'all are definitely moving towards towards a Gemini Libra Aquarius or from a Gemini Libra Aquarius. For some of y'all, y'all going to cut one off to start anew and take a leap of faith and move forward towards an Aries for some of y'all. Let's get it. 
Yeah, some of y'all have a fire sign. You don't know if you want to keep going with this person or just throwing the damn towel. And it definitely has to do with communication. But you are aware and this person could be aware that you are soulmates to one another. Some of y'all going to cut off a water sign that puts you in three-party energy, okay? You're just not with the shits. Some of y'all... Ooh, it's crazy this may sound. It's just too... I ain't got time. All right. Some of y'all... Yeah, some of y'all, you've been feeling that someone is using some form of magic on you. But some of y'all, you're needing to go to uh, some a big body of water, some form of water, or take a sea salt bath, okay? I am feeling that if you were dealing with a water sign in the past that tried to put you in some three-party situations, especially if this person is a mystic, okay, and, and, and believe in the arts, y'all might want to... Uh, go cleanse yourself. I feel like this person is trying to pre prevent you from moving away from them. And I feel spirit say I'm talking to 20% of y'all. Um, some of y'all are leaving somebody in the cold because you, you, they're not giving you the clarity that you need possibly regarding this three-party situation. And some of y'all just really ready to end the cycle, okay? Some of y'all are in y'all head because you know you're ready to end the cycle and cut off a damn Virgo and move away from this person. Or this person could have done this to you. But it's okay, baby. Have no sweat, my pet. Baby, you're going into a new cycle. To hell with them. Fuck them, girl. Fuck them. That's what my mama used to say. She's a Gemini. Yeah, some of y'all have a Virgo in the past or some uh, someone coming back from the past. This could be a Virgo, a Taurus, a Libra. This could be someone who you have children with, who you created something around, okay? This person is coming back to try to offer you um, maybe like a restart to start over. And some of y'all just like, hell no, I'm moving away from my past. I'm over it. Some of y'all are using y'all, trust, trusting y'all intuition as far as a water sign that's a soulmate, okay? But some of y'all... For those of you who are going uh, or in the or going through a situation in the justice system, in the justice system, you are going to be able to move forward. They may dismiss your case during this time. If it's not dismissed, it may be reset, but or you may move forward with something simple like community service or something like that. Some of y'all are definitely going to be putting a Scorpio on child support or divorce from a Scorpio due to three party situations. And I feel like you don't have the facts about this. Oh, but it's coming between the first and the fifteenth. You just intuitively know this, okay? Some of y'all yeah, some of y'all are cutting somebody due to a third due to third party energy, okay? And it could be another air sign like yourself or a water sign. Some of y'all are starting over new. Some of y'all are trying to focus on your money. Some of y'all got uh Capricorn towards Virgo at work that work with you. That likes you, okay? They want to manifest a relationship with you. For some of y'all who've been manifesting a new job, maybe you tired of the old job, you want to start something new, this looks very good for you. This Mercury energy is supporting you with doing so. And so is this Mars energy. Some of y'all, some of y'all are going to find out, get truth and clarity. Ooh, my ears itching. Regarding a child, this could also be a Pisces. Some of y'all are going to cut off a Pisces or get truth and clarity regarding the Pisces. And for some of y'all, y'all are going to be cutting off a Capricorn, okay? And moving forward, you can have a child with this person. But some of y'all are just ready to take a leap forward, take a, to have, have faith and just move forward. Y'all not with the shit. Some of y'all want to give y'all a cup of love to a water sign, okay? But some of y'all, if you actually take that leap of faith and move forward, you're going to get your wish, okay? And for some of y'all, it's definitely a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And for some of y'all, it could also be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of y'all are going to be welcoming babies in the building between the 1st and 15th or finding out that you're pregnant, all right? Especially if you were dealing with the Taurus, all right? But for some of y'all, y'all could also be have surprise engagements coming. Congratulations in advance. Y'all comment that shit. I want to celebrate with y'all. Say y'all congratulations and send you my love. All that. All right? <laughs> I love y'all. Damn it. Let me love on you. Like my baby used to tell me. Let me love on you. Shit. Some of y'all got a Pisces. Okay? Some of y'all got a Pisces or a Sagittarius. All right? That you've been kind of tempering yourself around. You kind of want to balance yourself out because you feel like this person kind of takes you through the ringer, but you love they ass. Intuitively, if you separated from this person, you already been feeling that they coming back. Some of y'all been dreaming. Trust your dreams. Your dreams are trying to reveal something to you, Spirit says. Also, but we're moving forward, okay? Some of y'all are victoriously going to move forward away, uh, well, move forward with the fire sign. Some of y'all, all hell finna break loose uh, surrounding a Scorpio. And for some of y'all, y'all looking at a little, la, 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 Leo. Ain't nothing wrong with it, baby. Get your passion on. But just forget that Virgo, if you were fighting with a Virgo, this person is not letting you go. Know this, okay? Also, y'all don't forget, I have a 48 to 72 hour reading special going on. 
Go check out that breaking news video. Get your reading in. Miss Girl, it's my 100% book. That's why I'm getting these generals out and doing readings in between. I love y'all babies. Until mid-August.